<laughs> it's time to get down to the needy greedy, ladies. Fresh fam, this is the world of the Thonga sisters. Aloha, we're the Thonga sisters. Welcome to our world. My mom's sister, Fina, was staying with us. This is my mom's only sister. So she was playing the guitar and she sings so good. She's one of our favorite singers. And so she's singing and then we're sitting down listening to her and she says, okay, you hold this part, you hold that part and you, you stay with me. So we're singing and then right as, as we're done, she says, okay, you guys are harmonizing. My name is Lexi, I'm 20. Um, this age, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate. Like this is where you're trying to figure out what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. I'm Tiwati and I'm 16 and uh, I wanna be a dentist. I'm Lila, I'm 15 and as of right now, I wanna be a statistician. Lila, La. she's definitely one here. <laughs> I'm Ellie Siva, but go by Siva. I'm 14, I've always wanted to become a doctor. I'm 11 and Wait, I'm what's your name, bro? Your name Bruh. is Nini. <laughs> My name is Nini. I'm 11 and I want to be a doctor. So she can cure herself. <laughs> <laughs> I moved to Tonga when I was in seventh grade to go uh, stay with my grandparents and take care of them. These guys would make videos and put it on YouTube just for my grandparents. I so they would make it so that my grandparents could watch it. That was like in the they olden days, out. so it wasn't like easy to be in contact with them. The olden days? <laughs> the olden days. <laughs> you mean 2002? <laughs> 2000s. That's no, but it just all kind of started building up. It started, I think one of our videos were, was Girl on Fire. We all got in trouble because we're not supposed to be on our phones too much. So oh my God. dad, my dad, I'm being honest, my dad told us to delete all of our social media apps. So we did. And then our cousins from California, they started screenshotting and was sending messages to me. And they're saying, oh my gosh, look, Chance the Rapper retweeted your guys' video. And then they said, oh my gosh, Missy Elliott reposted your video. Awesome. Then they're like, T-Boss from TLC. And we're like, what the, these are people that we look up to. talented family, the Tonga Sisters. I want to welcome in a very special group right now. Meet the Tonga Sisters. Awesome, so take it away. We were on the news just a couple of times. Just the, our local news in Hawaii. Okay, so yeah. too. And then we went to the 49ers Fan Fest at the Candlestick Park before they knocked it down to do the Levi Stadium. Yeah, go Niners. Sing the Star Spangled Banner there. Who's got it better than us? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> then after that, um, just recently we were on the Ellen Show which was a huge blessing. Amazing. And we'll never get over that. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that we have younger siblings, so I just wanted to give a shout out to Vili Muli, Vayata, and Tapu Kitea. To have a little brother, we need to make sure that we're a good, great example for him, because in his name, it's talking about how whatever we do, he carries on his back, which is kind of like all Polynesians, whatever our ancestors do, we carry on our back and we wear proudly. So whatever, we represent our name. It's our first family trip. My first time getting a passport. First time out of the country. First time in New Zealand. First time on Fresh TV. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the struggle is real. People think that now that we're on the Ellen Show, we're rich, but we're broke. We barely could come to so New broke. Zealand. It was a blessing. Like. This our is, we're being still, real with you. Our 12-passenger van. van leaks still. We travel in a 12-passenger van. Lexi got all her new clothes and was always hand-me-downs, and we never complained about but it. But who wore it better? That was the question. <laughs> 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 be here forever if we start saying what they do for us, but, but we, say we, owe, we owe a lot to our parents. I know that we want them to, to realize their dreams, to always put God first. That's what it means to be Tongan and what it means to be a member of, the, of our church. As they reach for the stars, we want them to stay grounded as well. And to be able to see them do a lot of what they love together, 
uh, we're glad they bring us along for the ride. We wouldn't let them leave without us, like you were saying earlier, but we're so thankful that we get to be a part of it as well. Especially Polynesian parents, we just want our kids to uh, fulfill their potential, uh, be better, stand at a higher ground than we ever were.